And the answer is that we'll see higher heritability for height in the population where everyone has equal access to resources. And that's because very little of the variation will be due to environmental variation. Now, here's a study that I thought was really cool. Um, it's sort of turning the genotype, the heritability environment issue on its head. So Parkinson's disease is a debilitating disease of neurological disease, uh, more common in older people. Um, it's thought to have a genetic component, but it's been very hard to pin down what to, to even be confidently say there is a genetic component or to identify the genes responsible. But it was known to have a strong environmental factor. And that is that if you drink a lot of coffee, you have a lower risk of Parkinson's disease. So this study is a not a genome-wide association study, but a genome-wide gene environment study. So they took large group of people and divided them into two groups, people who drank a lot of coffee and people who didn't drink coffee at all. And they measured their risk of Parkinson's disease, that measured the frequency of Parkinson's disease, and they looked for genetic variation that correlated with the effect of coffee drinking on Parkinson's disease. And they found a gene genetic variation in a known gene that's been widely studied that regulate brain signals that control movement and behavior. That was very exciting because Parkinson's disease is a disease where it's very difficult to control body movements. Here's the genome-wide association study plot, and here's the gene. It's called GRIN-A. So this study sort of turned genome-wide association studies on its head. They were able to use environmental variation to identify a genetic factor that contributed to the risk of Parkinson's disease. This genetic factor somehow interacts with the environmental effects of caffeine. So this is a very tantalizing clue to the underlying uh, molecular mechanisms of this very problematic disease. Now, here's another question. Consider two phenotypes, one that has high heritability and one that has low heritability. Which one would you expect to be more affected by environmental variation? 